G'day guys, Holy Critic here, and welcome back to another episode of Quick Reviews. I thought I'd do something a little different today and bring you a movie which strongly parallels recent news events. Now, I'm not a big political commentator, but I've been following Robert Mueller's investigation into Russian collusion within the Trump campaign, and I really wanted to bring some perspective to it. So, this obsession with Russia really stems back to post-World War II hysteria surrounding communism and its spread throughout the world. The American government feared that its ideology could win in the court of public opinion and thus needed to suppress it. Today's movie Citizen Cone follows the life of lawyer and chief counsel Roy Cone, played by James Woods. He was best known for his relentless attempts to expose communist agitators operating within the US. Some of you might remember his association with Senator Joseph McCarthy and the House Committee on Un-American Activities in 1951. Well, this paranoia, or red scare as it was called, resulted in many suspects being hauled before the committee. There they were forced to justify and defend themselves against often fabricated or outright doctored evidence. The story itself is told in the form of flashbacks, as Cohn lies on his hospital deathbed haunted by the ghosts of old. His mind wrestles with the decisions he made, which saw careers ruined, reputations destroyed and ultimately lives lost. It's made crystal clear from the outset that Roy Cohn is not the type of man to let truth get in the way of his greater pursuit for power and influence. He despises his father's empathy and shrewdness, which he sees as weakness, and instead prefers his mother, who lords over him and, and props up his grandiose ideas. His life really is a case study in how righteousness and grotesque ambition can turn men into the very monsters they claim to be fighting. James Woods is adept at playing these types of characters. He may have the appearance of lawfulness on the surface, but within him hides huge hypocrisy and deep-seated corruption. His powerful performance really drives the narrative, and that's why I've given Citizen Cone a final rating of 4 halos out of 5. But before I go, you might still be wondering how this all ties in with Muller's investigation. And here's the twist. Are you ready? Roy Cohn mentored Donald Trump during his early business years. So think about that for a second. The man who was at the centre of the anti-Russian McCarthyism movement advised and worked with a future president who the mainstream media claim is a Russian agent. Does that make any sense to you? I'll leave you with that final thought. And lastly, guys, make sure you leave a big thumbs up and don't forget to comment with your thoughts on these recent news events. I love reading different points of views on topics like this, so please share them below. But for now, God bless, stay safe, and this is Holy Critic, signing out.